So this is what we are going to create today, a sleek stack card layout. At first glance, it looks like any other standard design. But as you scroll down, the cards start stacking one over the other, creating a unique and engaging scrolling effect. It's a simple yet powerful way to showcase your content and keep users interacting with your site. In this example, we'll be using these cards to display a range of content like text, icons, and even videos. You can customize each card to highlight different products, services, or even blog posts, depending on what you want to feature. And the best part, we'll be doing this entirely with element of free and a bit of custom CSS. No need for any paid plugins. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a professional interactive design where your cards stick to the screen as users scroll, creating a smooth, dynamic experience. Don't worry if you've never done this before. I'll guide you through each step and you'll be creating beautiful sticky cards in no time. So let's get started. To start, we'll build the main container that will hold all the cards or containers. First, click on the plus icon and add a new container. This will be a main container where we'll make all the cards. For the layout, set the direction to vertical so the card will stack one on top of the other. Next, to make the container fill the entire screen, set the minimum height to 100vh. This will ensure that the container spans the full height of the screen. In the layout section, set justify content and align items to center from here. This will align all the content inside the container both horizontally and vertically. Now to add some breathing room between the cards, let's set a gap of 40 pixels. Go to the advanced tab and assign the CSS class all dash cards to this container. This class will help us link this main container later with our code. I'll also change the container name to all cards in the navigator so it's easier to access later on. Okay, now we'll design the first card for the stack effect and set the foundation for all the other cards. Inside the all cards container, add another container widget to create the first card. Change it from boxed to full width and adjust the width to 75%. Now, set the height to 75VH and go to the style tab. All right, let's choose a solid color background from here, but you can even use a gradient depending on the look you're going for. To give the card a modern look, set the border radius to 25 pixels. This will round the edges of the card. And to make the card appear as though it's floating above the page, let's add a box shadow from here. This subtle shadow will create depth, making the card look more three-dimensional. I'll also go to the advanced tab and add 50 pixels padding on all sides. This will ensure that the content inside the card has enough space and doesn't feel cramped. All right, scroll down and set the Z index to one to ensure this card layers right at the back when we add the other cards later. Finally, give this container the class name card one like this, which will help us link it to the code we'll add later on. Also, I'll quickly change the name of this container in the navigator two cards, but you can also name it card one. Okay, now let's add the content to our first card. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. This can include anything from a heading, text, icons, images, and even a video background, all of which will make the card interactive and visually appealing. So you can either design the card according to your side or just follow this quick design that I'll be making now. So I'll quickly add two different containers here and then select the cards container and set the direction to row. As you can see, both the containers are now side by side. The left container will hold all the different headings and text that I want to add and the right will have the video playing inside it. So let's set that up quickly. Inside the inner container, add a heading widget for the main title. Set the text color to black for contrast and readability. You can adjust the width of the heading if needed to make sure it fits the card properly. Below the heading, add a text editor widget for a description or additional information. And now, let's make the card more interactive by adding some icons. Inside the card, add another container widget with a horizontal direction to align the icons side by side. Now, add an icon widget. 
set it to black and adjust the size to 30 pixels duplicate the icon and change the symbol to offer a variety of options for the viewer finally to add a dynamic touch to our cards we'll add a background video to the container on the right in the style tab select video as the background option copy the link of a video from your media library and paste it into the video field this video will now play in the background of the card giving it a modern and engaging effect once the first card is designed we'll duplicate it to create multiple cards each duplicate will have a different background content and video giving the layout some variety make sure you follow this section clearly to learn how to ensure each card layers correctly and appears in order as you scroll for each duplicated card we'll adjust the z index set the z index for card 2 to 2 card 3 to 3 and card 4 to 4 This will control the layering of the cards and ensure they appear in the right order when scrolling. Now update the class names for each card to reflect the new cards. So change the CSS class for card two to card two, card number three to card three, and card number four to card four. All right. You can now go ahead and customize the backgrounds, icons, text, and video content for each card. This will ensure each card feels unique while maintaining the same overall design. Now, we'll apply some custom CSS to make the card stack as you scroll. This code will control the position of each card and ensure it stays fixed in place until the next card takes over. Adding this CSS is crucial for making the cards behave as stack elements during scrolling. Don't worry, we won't be using Elementor Pro for adding the code. Okay, so go back to your WordPress dashboard. Head to appearance and click on customize. Now look for additional CSS and paste the following code from the description below. This CSS applies the stack positioning to each card, making sure that the cards stay in place at different scroll offsets. Finally, let's go back to the Elementor editor and preview the page by clicking here. As you can see, I can scroll through the page normally, and when I reach this section. the card starts stacking like this once you reach the end and scroll back up the card start unstacking by sliding down so whether you are showcasing services products or other content this stack card design is an excellent choice for any website looking to stand out comment below if you have any questions and i'll help you out click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just 1 minute you really going to thank me for this so click here and i'll see you there